Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to simplify expressions using the order of operations. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, simplify the expressions, we have two parts. Our first part, A, is 7 times an 18.3 minus a 21.7. Now, the order of operation tells us we have to deal with parentheses first. So we keep the 7 on the outside, and I'm going to subtract the 18.3 minus the 21.7. And if you need practice with this, subtracting decimals, we have other videos on that previously. From there, 18.3 minus 21.7 is a negative 3.4. We simplify it inside, right? The parentheses, now notice, it's a negative number, and it had to be because 21.7 is larger than 18.3. From there, we need to multiply. 7 times a negative 3.4 is a negative 23.8. And again, we have a video on multiplying decimals as well. So 7 times a negative 3.4 is a negative 23.8. And there we have it. The process of PEMDAS, order of operations, is the same when we have decimals or just regular whole numbers. So just be careful with that with the decimal part, but there's no, that's the same thing. Part two, two thirds times an 8.3 minus a 3.8. Parentheses come first, so the two thirds stays on the outside. An 8.3 minus a 3.8 is a 4.5 right there. Now, you have two options here. If you want to convert, you know, two thirds to a decimal, try to add it, but I'm gonna show you something a little different here. 4.5 is the same thing as 4.5 over 1. If we multiply across the numerator, 2 times 4.5 is a 9. 3 times 1 is a 3. So just because we had a decimal in the numerator doesn't mean if it multiplied by 2, we wouldn't get to a whole number. And then 9 thirds, well, 9 divided by 3 is a 3. And there we have it. 2 thirds times an 8.3 minus a 3.8 came out to be a 3. And there we got it. Our two answers, negative 23.8 and a Three. Hope you learned something here on how to simplify expressions using the order of operations. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.